and you're worshiping that he's your healer. And he was healed from the foundation of the world. Even though you might not look right. Yeah. Does God honor that? Yeah. Yes. God honors that. You know, people look at you. Well, you ain't this. You ain't that. I'm here to please you for him. I love you. But the main thing is to please God. Yes. And uh, he's our deliverer. Yes. And as we was talking this morning, I heard some talking. Hope, is that right? Mm -hmm. He's under our feet. That's right. He's under our feet. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Never give, don't never give credit to him to be on his shoulder or nothing like that. Immediately, it's not like you said, right. he's under your feet. Because yeah. yeah. we're the head and not the tail. That's right. Because we're the body of Christ. That's right. That's right. Amen. And you know, Jesus, he, uh, he done a lot for us. He went, we can praise him. Worship him for he went into Hades, into the pits of hell, yeah. and made a show of Satan openly. I mean, just wore him out, just wore him out in front of everybody. He done all that for us, so we don't have to go there. Amen. Amen. He took a beating on his body, so we don't have to have that on our body. You know, they say there's 39 major, major diseases. I've heard this. And he took 39 slashes. Ain't that something? Whether that's true about the saying there's 39, I bet he did take 39 slashes. They never broke a bone in his body. But all, all, they say all of his joints, when they dropped that cross, they popped. I've heard that. But he done so much for you and I. Yes. He is our creator. Yes. Our provider. Yes. Our savior. Yes. How many here today can honestly say he is your savior? Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So if you can say that, that he is your savior. And you got a lot to worship in about. Because right. there's a hundred and there's more than 160. This is just 160 that were in the Bible that I printed off this morning. There is so much to worship him about. I'm gonna read some more. He's our governor, yes. our protector, yes. our shield. Yes. yes. What's Jehovah Jireh? Praise the Lord. Love that song. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And He does provide. Yes. Thank you, God. You know, sometimes it don't look good. That's right. And uh, but He says, "Praise Him in the good and the bad." That's right. Amen. Yep, that's right. That's hard to do sometimes. Yes, it is. It is so hard to do. Raise Him hands and praise Him anyway. Amen. Like Ernest was preaching a while back. Were uh, Moses when these was up victorious. That's right. When he got lazy and put them down. That's right. Oh, it was bad news then. That's right. They had men for the two with him, but they was there, and they right kept his hands up in her. That's right. Yeah. And uh, you know we can. You just need to make sure if you are. One that says that you are born again, blood bought, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking, loving Jesus. These need to be in the heart. It hurts. I talked to you before. before. It hurts sometimes. It's your arms and start talking. God, I just make just keep it up. Eventually, it's a bill for you catch them in the heart. Well, they're in the heart. Come on, man. <laughs> We would see him here this morning. I missed him last three, four weeks. He's my buddy. He's our Lamb of God. Yes. He's the light of the world. Yes. Because without Amen. him, it'd be darkness. Yeah, that's right. And we need that light in us. He's the Father of the Fatherless. Amen. That's right. That's right. There's a lot of people out here 
you know, I lost my daddy. I, I was nine years old, I think. And uh, he wasn't a Christian. And that's sad. That's just sad, but, you know. And he was in a... He uh, made liquor and stuff like that. And growing up, I was under a generational curse. Because he was an alcoholic. And if you don't believe in that stuff, it is true. But you know what? That curse is broken. Amen. It's Amen. broken off of me. Praise the Lord. Amen. My son. Amen. His offspring. Amen. And from here on, because we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. Uh, <coughs> he's the bread of life. The truth, the way. Yes. I'm skipping some goodness for the sake of time. I, I'm, I'm, ready praise okay. I'm ready to praise and worship. I'm ready to praise and worship. He's our master builder. <coughs> He's a pillar of our lives. The firstborn. Awesome. First born. Mm. And it's awesome that, you know, out of everything that he created, we're the only things that he created with his hands. Everything else spoke into existence. And that's how he wants us to do it. We, these words, we speak words of life. Even when we're praising and worshiping, we're worshiping and we let words of life to thank him and praise him for what's on that board that's already. Manifested. Hallelujah. And, uh, That's right. It's took care of. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's, it just, I just see Jesus at the right hand of God. He cheers his own. Yeah. You know, he said, God, look at look at my people. <laughs> look, they're honored. They're, that faith is being honored. And uh, that's like uh, I'd go watch Brandon play football or something back in the day. What time you wasn't on the sideline? <laughs> What's a different story, man? But, uh, excellent, excellent ball player, man. Was he good when he got to play? But uh, it would make you. It, it, I would be so proud of him. But I was always proud of him, regardless. That's right. But you know, when he's out there doing stuff and doing good, and I would just you got. I'd always lift him up. After about the fourth grade, fifth, sixth grade, no, third grade, because then I was pretty rough on it. But I, I had to get to where you lift him up, talk blessings over him. And uh, Lord, he, you know, he's just turned out so good that he's uh, leading a youth group down at ECU. I remember talking out, people would say, Ronnie, he's going to ECU. That's a capital party. Mm -hmm. I said, no, Brandon, he's going to be the light among the darkness. Mm -hmm. And they just look at me. Everybody, everybody would say it. And I would always say, no, he's the light among the darkness. Mm -hmm. And his light's going to shine. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that he's letting his light shine. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's a blessing. He is the Word of God. He's Almighty. Amen. The line of Judah. Amen. The beginning and the end. Yes. He's the living water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alpha and Omega. Yep. Yes. That's mm. right. He is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. <clears throat> And we got so much to praise Him for. Yes. Amen. We don't want to rock, rock a rock yeah. crying out and praising Him, do we? That's right. Amen. <coughs> I was at a church one time, I rocked a big rock and laid on the piano. <laughs> yeah, it goes for good. <laughs> laid, well, first of all, I laid in the wrong place on the pretty piano. But I didn't stretch it. And uh, I believe when I was teaching and talking about that, then. <coughs> It didn't go far after I laid it on the piano because I was worried about the piano. But anyway, 
Today I just pray that also for me that this word that we we'll receive, we'll take it, run with it, we'll run with it, and that our praise and worship will just change it here. It, it does. It does. And Jamie's talking about the other night. We we just kind of we go through the motions. I don't like going through the motions. I do it enough. I do it enough. And it's sad. He's a rock of ages. Yes. Yeah. Mighty man of valor. He's our hedge of protection. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for that. Amen. He's our no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Amen. He is the Word of God. This Word right here is what He is. Yeah, that's right. Thank right. you, Jesus. That's right. He is the blood. Yes. He is our armor. You know, uh, we shouldn't put our armor on daily. Sleep in it. Keep it on. Don't be taking it off. He'll come against you in your dreams. That's right. That's true. He'll lay it on you. When I first got saved, and still does. When I first got saved, it was like, I was talking right now. It was a battle. Because uh, I was bad. I was a party. It was all about me. All about me. I just seemed to go up and get you. Just me. I was me. And uh, there was a, a friend of mine that was meaner than me. He got saved and lived for Jesus. I thought, wow. I started seeing the Bible in him. He said, I'm this Jesus. I went to church all my life. Told people I was a Christian. And uh, I told you before, I was laying in the bed drunk when I got saved. The Holy Spirit was just filling me. And uh, just like that. Did it change immediately? No. It's a process. It's a process. <clears throat> but praise God for doing the drugs and everything and all that. Gone. Gone. So I, I smoke marijuana every day. Morning, night, and day. It was, that, was, that was it. And to be hit like that and Jesus clean you just like that? Awesome. I said, man, there's something to Jesus. Lord. There's something to Jesus. Yeah. And now that I'm serving Him, it's all about Jesus. <coughs> and that name, the name of Jesus. Amen. You ever just say around and just say, Jesus. Yes. yes. It's yes. Jesus. Yes, Power. Yeah. Absolutely. He used to work at a place and uh, when I first got saved and knowed I was born again, I know that I know that I know. I sit around on the desk up there and I just write notes to the Lord. And if that desk is, I'd like to see if that desk is even still there because I had it all over. And people, you know, well, was I peculiar? The Bible says I am. But the people say how peculiar I was. They didn't want to be around me. Because at the time, I couldn't contain what was in me in the right way. I would push people away. And I was on the milk. On that milk. And now I'm on the meat and blood. Blood. He's our banner. He's our high priest of our confession. You know, when we speak something, everything goes through Jesus before it goes to God. That's hard to get a hold of. I mean, God's right here. Jesus is right at the right hand. And when we speak it, Jesus takes it before the Father. And uh, God gives it the okay. In other words, 
Because like I said, everything goes through Jesus. And if it don't go through Jesus, but it's got to go through in His name, in the name of Jesus. Not in thy name, that name, but Jesus' name. I just wanted to say His name. I want to get in the... As we praise and worship Him this morning, I just want to... I want to enter in. I want us all to enter in. You know? Yes. Amen. That day of Pentecost, I want it to be like that from now on. As people will be in here that don't even know Jesus. Yes. Get a dose of it. Freedom. You've been in services like that before, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're freedom. there. And freedom. Yeah, freedom. Freedom. You know, we'll go to a ball game and holler and scream and yell and yeah. blow whistles. Yeah. But you know, we came to church and guilty. Can you put your hand on and just say you're guilty of that? Yeah. It's true. We are. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope in the name of Jesus, we are going to change. Yeah. I speak that over everybody today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. It's going to be about <coughs> praising Him in spirit and in truth. Yes. Worshiping Him. Giving it all to Him. Yes. It's got to start somewhere. Amen. So this morning, a lot of us may not, I don't know, I'd keep my eyes closed. Because I, I, I don't want to be distracted. We'll pick her now and I say, Hope, boy, she's into it. Woo! <laughs> You're blessed. You're blessing, Hope. She just seems to be like it is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. She's there. That's where I want to be. And a lot more of you like that. I'm not paying attention. I just sometimes just. Because she's right there in front of me. But, uh, we're going to go into praise and worship this morning. And uh, let's just give, give God all that we can. Yes. We know each other. We're, free. We're family. Yeah, that's right. It's not right if we get loud for Jesus. Yes. Ronnie, get this. It's me too. Yeah. Get loud for Jesus. Don't be, don't, if you're ashamed of Him, what will He be to us? He will not. We don't put, we need to be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Because He'll be ashamed of us if we don't open it up and just let people know that who we are in Christ Jesus. Let people know that we are a child of the Most High God. Yes, amen. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. I'm going to give this to Jane and the praise team. And... Uh, I hope everybody here this morning is saved. If it ain't, this altar will be open during praise and worship. If you need healing in your body, you know, we don't have to say no long five minute prayer of you. Jesus just showed me through his scripture and word and Peter and all of them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's all we got to say. I don't need to talk to you into getting healed. I need to make sure that I have no forgiveness in my heart and I'm in right standing with God when I do pray for you. I have no love against nobody. Walking in love. Because God ain't going to work through us if we're way over here. And a lot of us are way over there. And we're doing stuff in the name of Jesus. And he says he never knew us. And uh, let's don't be like that. I've been there. I knew him, but I was off on a different path, not doing what I was supposed to do. And working on it to be more I need to be with Jesus. And we all it's it's a daily thing. It ain't just like that. It's a daily thing by getting this word in us. And praise Him through the week, not only when we come to this building here. This, we are the church. We're the praise. And we love you guys. Like I said, if you need healing this morning, or need anything from Jesus, while we're praising Him, the altar's open.
Thank you very much. Again, the Holy Spirit always has an on-time word. Um, I'm going to plug in a song and give everybody a chance to mingle. We'll do our tithes and offerings during this time. Um, I played this song um, two or three weeks ago because we are not going to be moved. I'm looking at hope. Amen. We're not going to be moved. And we're going to play this song and declare it over this church, over every person in this body of Christ, those that are watching online, those that will be watching on YouTube. We're going to play this song and let it minister to you. And then the praise team will come up. We'll use this time. We'll leave the um, offer basket up here during the whole time. But love on each other and just embrace this song, okay? We will not be right. 